Hello guys, um, welcome to another episode of Devs Kingdom. Mistral has just released the OCR and it's a great model and it's available from the Lurch chat and also the APIs. Uh, it is free, so feel free to check this out. It's very powerful. It can convert the PDFs and images, as you can see here, in a very good way. So in this video, we're going to cover how to test it the best way and the easy way. So if you uh, go to the Lurch and chat that uh, mistral.ai which is low chat so uh, this is supported the mistral OCR as you can see here which is uploaded documentation uh, basically PDF for images then it should be able to respond with the markdown format which is very cool the easiest way to test it out and the best way to test it out is through the API as you can see uh, from the uh, API keys you can just uh, create a new key so uh, if you have not set up the free plan you can set up a free plan and that's how you get the keys. Then after that, create a notebook, let's say call it kegel.com and make sure OCR, or you can create one on the uh, collab. Uh, so, but I think the kegel.com has a lot of uh, good features. So you can uh, use this uh, notebook and first to install the Mistral AI. And then uh, we're gonna use two files to test it. One's for the Mistral 7B, the other is with Sys. So you can get the files from the Mistral AI cookbook. So the first one is the uh, like a paper. So you can actually uh, get it from this uh, cookbook, Mistral OCR and Mistral 7B PDF. The second file we're gonna test is this uh, resist.png. So it's an image. So it's very uh, common uh, receipts that so you can get from uh, the restaurant or somewhere. Um, and then let's go back to kega.com. So after you download all the files, then uh, you paste the keys from the API console to here. So API key, and after that, create a uh, mistral object using the API key. So it's ready to go. Then to test the files, first read the file. And then after that, uh, just have to uh, basically parse the files metadata. So first is the files stem. So you get the file name from there and also get the content from the PDF file that read bytes. And then put the payload. Uh, to this uh, upload files that, um, API and basically first you have to upload it as well so as you can see from the sign URL so basically what they did is to upload everything to the windows.net so it basically upload everything to a storage and get the sign URL after that uh, you basically got the documentation in the trunk and pa paste it into this uh, client OCR process uh, API so then you'll be able to get the response uh, from this API. Super straightforward. And then uh, what the uh, response has is to um, basically a markdown file, as you can see here. So basically there's pages. So this is a raw markdown, but they also have a lot of metadata like the images. So which uh, we'll demo this a little bit later. So this is basically something you have to replace in the markdown, but they return in a format uh, more of a structural format. So, and then after you get this um, JSON string, you can uh, just parse that string. So as you can see here, um, the first they actually uh, handle the images. As you can see in the previous section, so the images is um, have an ID and also have an image base sixty four. So let's go back to the JSON string. So you can see here there's an ID which is image dash zero JPG and also the image base URL. So they use and this part of the image to replace the ones that's in here. For example, um, the images, uh, image dash O, and image dash zero, and image dash zero. So eventually it's gonna build a dictionary from this section images and replace everything in the markdown like this. So, but it's a good schema. So let's go back to the uh, Kaggle uh, section. So you can see after they built this image uh, key, uh, key value structure or the dictionary, they basically replace everything in the markdown using this uh, image data. So you can see here, basically replace the image image name, which is in that case is image dash zero, uh, image dash zero, replaced with the uh, actual image. So after that, you can see it's very very well done uh, in the parse, right? So you can see they parsed the PDFs to a markdown file. Very nice, very clean, and the images are super clear. So very good work. And after that, um, you can also uh, try out the uh, image. So the image is basically also the image that we downloaded earlier. So it's resist.png. So you can also read the file in this way. 
and after that we just need to read the uh, get the base 64 version of the image then you just pass into the client lcl process the same as the pdf um, that should be it so we got a response like this one so you can see that the markdown is a little bit um, not well structured uh, but uh, what uh, Misha did is that they can actually parse this markdown and to a model. So you can see the first JSON response test is that the Mixture 12 bit latest. So they use this model, which is the LLM, and pasting the uh, image response. So you can see here that this image response and basically try to ask you uh, to uh, convert the into this sensible structured JSON response. And uh, it's not structured, but it's a JSON response. So the model will figure out how to output it. As you can see here, they output in this way, so which is good. And the other one uh, is to use Mistral, Mistral 8B latest, so different model, uh, same payload. As you can see here, they have a little bit different response, but also it's a good job. So uh, this is basically unstructured uh, response. It's very good too. Uh, the other way to test it is to structure response because uh, the Mistral OCR support supports structured response. Uh, for this example, basically you just need to build a class, uh, ask the model to output a structured response instead of the flexible JSON response. In this case, we still do the same thing as we did earlier, um, get the image in the basics for format, then um, just build the payload a similar way, but it is a, a structured JSON response. Also, the response format is structured OCR. So it's a little bit different than previous examples, but uh, very similar. So then uh, after we define the structured OCR, then you can see uh, it's actually give the structured output. So it's a very good job. And that should be it. So this is the very straightforward and easiest way to test out the Mistral OCR for free. And it is very, very good. Um, so in my previous video, I showed you guys the uh, OLM OCR is very good and also this is open source. So in this video, we showed you how to use OLM OCR with Q1 2.5 VL, which is very powerful as well. So if you're interested, feel free to check out this video and it is very, very good also. And that being said, hopefully this is helpful. And if you do like this video, please subscribe, like, or comment if you have any questions. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and see you in the next one.